Our next category for the evening is oratory. Great speeches publicly given throughout history. In 399 BC, Socrates spoke his own self-defense while on trial for impiety and allegedly corrupting the youth of Athens. He was offered a pardon if he would give up teaching philosophy, but he believed he had a moral obligation to tell the truth and that acting justly was its own reward. This speech both denies any wrongdoing by the philosopher and makes passionate arguments for the right to believe and speak counter to the governing authorities. Sophomore Sophia Greenberg will take us back in time to some of this foundational philosopher's final words with the Apology of Socrates. The difficulty, my friends, is not to avoid death, but to avoid unrighteousness, for that runs faster than death. I am old and move slowly, and the slower runner has overtaken me, and my accusers are keen and quick, and the faster runner, who is unrighteousness, has overtaken them, and now I depart hence condemned by you to suffer the penalty of death. And they too go their ways, condemned by the truth to suffer the penalty of villainy and wrong. I must abide by my award and let them abide by theirs. And I suppose that these things may be regarded as fated. And I think that they are well. And now, O oh, men who have condemned me, I would fain prophesy to you, for I am about to die. And in the hour of death, men are granted with prophetic power. And I prophesy to you, who are my murderers, that immediately after my departure, punishment far heavier than you have inflicted on me will surely await you. Me you have killed, because you wanted to escape the accuser and not to give an account of your lives. But that will not be as you suppose. For I say that there will be far more accusers of you than there are now. Accusers whom I have hitherto restrained. And as they are younger, they will be more inconsiderate with you and you will be more offended at them. And if you think that by killing men, you can prevent someone from censoring your evil lives. You are mistaken. That is not a way of escape that is either possible or honorable. The easiest and noblest way is not to be disabling of others, but to be improving yourselves. This is the prophecy which I utter before my departure to the judges who have condemned me. Let us reflect in another way and we shall see that there is great reason to hope that death is a good. For one of two things, either death is a state of nothingness and utter unconsciousness, or as men say, there is a change in migration of the soul from this world to another. Now, if you suppose that there is no consciousness, but the sleep like the sleep of him who is undisturbed even by dreams, death, will be an unspeakable gain. If a person were to select a night in which his sleep was undisturbed even by dreams, and then were to compare the other days and nights of his life, and then were to tell us how many days and nights he had passed in the course of his life better and more pleasantly than this one, I think that any man, I will not say a private man, but even the great king, will not find many such days or nights. Now, if death be of such a nature, I say that to die is gain, for eternity is then only a single night. But if death is the journey 
to another place, and there, as men say, all the dead abide. What good, O my friends and judges, can be greater than this? Above all, I shall then be able to continue my search into true and false knowledge, as in this world, so also in the next. And I shall find out who is wise, who pretends to be wise and is not. What would not a man give, O judges, to be able to examine the leader of the great Trojan expedition, or Odysseus, or Sisyphus, or numberless others, men and women too? What infinite delight would there be in conversing with them and asking them questions? In another world, men are not put to death for asking questions, assuredly not. For besides being happier than we are, they will be immortal if what is said is true. The hour of departure has arrived, and we go our ways, I to die and you to live. Which is better, God only knows.